Living it up in luxury hotels is not just for trust fund babies or high rolling executives. But the sad truth is most travelers rule out luxury hotels before even planning their trip simply because they assume they'd be too expensive. This just isn't true and with a little bit of planning travelers on any budget can fit some luxury into their trips. So in this video we'll be going over five hacks to stay in luxury hotels that nobody talks about and I'm living proof that this is possible. As a lifelong traveler who's always had to stick to a strict budget I've been able to use every single one of these hacks that we'll go over here today to stay in luxury hotels. I mean I've used the third hack we'll go over for savings totaling more than $5,000 and that last hack we'll go over is really wild. It got me a luxury stay at this boutique hotel in an old convent on the beautiful island of Mallorca for 90% off, which meant paying approximately $40 instead of $400 per night. So let's dive right into these hacks and help you afford to include some luxury in your next trip. Now this first hack is something I feel like could seem obvious, but sometimes the obvious is the easiest to ignore. More often than not these days, travelers don't even consider this hack. And that's increasingly true as large third-party websites such as Booking.com continue to spend massive amounts of money on advertising. Simply put, third-party websites take a cut of any booking you make using their platforms. And as a result, they are often more expensive than going directly to the hotel that you'd like to book with. And often I'll find that people that I talk to will think that they booked directly with the hotel when in reality they actually booked via third party. So let's dive into what could amount to significant savings by just looking at direct prices. The exact details on how to look up direct prices can depend on if you're booking with a local hotel or a large chain. If you're going local, then the best place to start your search is to just see if the hotel has its own website. If they do, then there's already a pretty high chance that you can find your stay for cheaper on their own website than anywhere else. But if they don't, or their prices on their own website turn out cheaper than third-party websites, try reaching out to them directly. I often find that a quick call, email, or WhatsApp message can often lead to a better rate and a more personalized experience at the hotel. And there are many ways to find contact information for a hotel. But honestly, I usually do find it just by looking up the hotel's contact info in Google Maps. But if we're talking about a hotel that's a part of a large brand, then there's a slightly different approach that I like to take. Most any hotel will prefer that you book direct, simply to avoid having to pay a cut to a third-party business. And even more so than with local establishments, large brands will almost always attempt to have the lowest price directly on their own website. But when they don't happen to have the lowest price, there's another hack that can save you a ton of money. Basically, larger brands like Marriott, Hilton, IHG, and Hyatt all offer a guarantee that by booking through their own channels, you can get the cheapest price. As a result of this, they offer what's known as a price match. Basically, this means if you find the same room cheaper on a third-party website with the same booking conditions, they'll match that lower price and add an additional discount or bonus. I've literally saved thousands and thousands of dollars using price matches over my years of travel. And just last month, I got back-to-back -back luxury stays at the Ritz-Carlton in Abu Dhabi and the St. Regis in Dubai just by price matching. But that's a story for another video. Basically, you could think of price matches as a kind of reward system for reporting lower prices to hotel chains, since it's in the interest of large chains to offer the lowest price. They don't enjoy paying a percentage of their earnings to a third-party website more than anybody else would. Anyways, the bonus or discount can vary from stuff like 25% off the matched rate or a ton of extra points in the hotel chain's reward program. But in my opinion, the big downside to price matches is that they can require you to do quite a lot of extra research. Usually, the easiest way to find lower rates to match to is by using a meta search websites such as Google Hotels, Kayak, or Trivago. I just give them all a try until I find a lower rate. But one disclaimer, I don't find the way that most price match departments operate to be very standardized or transparent. Basically, each price match guarantee comes with its own set of rules. And often it'll seem that the way the rules are interpreted and enforced can kind of be left up to the employee managing your price match request. To put it simply, I've received all kinds of strange reasons that my price match was not honored. But much of the time, I have been able to go back and forth with the price match department and get it honored eventually. In all honesty, I've had the most success with Marriott's price match program. But that could just be because there often are a lot of third-party websites selling their rooms for lower than they have on their own website. I'd say the biggest thing to keep in mind for this hack is to just make sure that you understand the rules for the price match that you want to do. And you may have to have some patience if it involves going back and forth with the price match department. When I do price matches, I pretty much always have at least one backup refundable reservation just in case they don't honor the price match. But if you're not able to find a good price match deal, it is always worth monitoring prices and then rebooking later if prices drop. You could monitor prices before booking in hopes that they might drop, but that could also result in much higher prices if you wait too long to book. So in my opinion, the best strategy is usually to just book a refundable rate and then keep track of price changes. 
When you book a refundable rate and the price drops later on, all you have to do is cancel for free and then rebook. Plus making a booking with free cancellation means a lot more flexibility for you as a traveler. I try out this hack on nearly every booking I make, and it's really just a pretty easy way to save some money on travel. Sometimes the same room type at the same hotel will just get cheaper. And other times new room types may become available and prices could be lower. So the more often you monitor prices after making a refundable booking, the more likely you are to find cheaper rates. And right before your stay, I find that it's always worth taking one last look right before your booking becomes non-refundable or your free cancellation period is over. Sometimes I have been able to save a significant amount of money by just rebooking to a non-refundable rate a few days before my stay. To be fair, often last minute rates will just be higher and this won't work. But when demand is low, they may not be higher. And I find that you can often save between 10 and 30% just by doing this extra little stuff right before your stay. But what's for sure here is that keeping track of prices after initially making a refundable hotel booking can save you a lot of money. And another hack to help you get the best luxury hotel deals has to do with when you travel. Traveling to a popular destination during peak season can mean paying a ton more than traveling there during the low season. Let's just take a look at an example of this. Say you're looking to book a luxury stay on the Greek island of Crete. At this 5 star Hilton property, you could get about half off a week in the same room just by traveling in October instead of September. Plus I can say from first hand experience that October in Crete can be a really great time to visit. And traveling during the off season or low season, whatever you want to call it, comes with an added bonus too. Less people visiting means that places will be less busy. And honestly, in my experience, I often find that you can have a much better travel experience just by traveling outside of the peak season. But of course, sometimes you might just be limited to certain dates when prices are really high. And when that's the case, the first three hacks we went over in this video would be the perfect place to start. But there is one more hack to talk about that can work regardless of when you're traveling. And this last hack can really save you a ton of money, but it requires being in the know. This is the method that I use to book a luxury hotel in Mallorca that usually costs around $400 a night for about $40 a night. That kind of sounds almost unbelievable, right? When I first learned about this hack, I actually dismissed it as too good to be true. And as a result, I missed some great deals. But after somebody gently reminded me about it, I gave it a try and got that crazy 90% off deal. All I had to do was use a special coupon code that was only valid for a short amount of time. Basically, both hotels and third-party websites will have various types of sales. These could be things like a free night, a discount, free breakfast, or other stuff to get you booking. But every once in a while, there are some really crazy promotions going on, and that 90% off deal I got was an Expedia promotion. For whatever reason, Expedia had decided to give a limited amount of people 90% off on their hotel bookings. I haven't seen that exact Expedia deal now for a few years, but the thing is there are always a bunch of different promotions going on. So even if it's not as crazy as 90% off basically at any hotel of your choosing, taking a look at current promotions for direct bookings and third party websites can save you a ton of money. Often these promotions will come with blackout dates or specific date ranges. So do make sure to read the fine print. But if you don't find any promotions that fit your travel plans, there is one bonus hack that can always be used. This hack is kind of limited, as in it only works for bookings at Marriott, Hilton, and IHG hotels. But the good news is that these are three of the biggest hotel chains in the world. So you can make use of this hack in most of the world. I've used it everywhere from Hawaii to South Africa, and here's how it works. When you book stays at Hilton or Marriott hotels, you can get the fifth night free on regular points bookings. And then IHG hotels will give you the fourth night free. So you can kind of think of it as 20% off for Marriott and Hilton or 25% off for IHG. Say a hotel you want to stay at is charging 10,000 Hilton Honors points per night. You could then book 5 nights for 40,000 points instead of 50,000. So if you happen to already have some Hilton points then this is an awesome use of them. And hotel points are some of the easiest to get through credit cards. But even if you don't have any hotel points with Hilton, Marriott or IHG you can still make use of this hack. There are a lot of different ways to get hotel points, but one that absolutely anybody can use is to just buy them. And these hotel chains even offer pretty frequent sales on their points. So when the price goes low enough, you can sometimes buy the points for your stay and get it significantly cheaper than if you paid the cash rate. And no matter where in the world you want to travel, and whether you're looking at a polished Ritz-Carlton or a local boutique hotel, these hacks will help you add some affordable luxury to your trip. So let us know what luxury hotels you book below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you're sure to enjoy my others too. So make sure to hit that like button. And if you're wondering about this hotel that I'm staying at in Bali, well, make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned for my future videos about Bali. Thank you so much for watching.